Okay, so today I wanted to make a low carb, a bit healthier version of lasagna. And here are some of the ingredients that I'll be using that need to be used before they go bad. I have two eggplants, some Italian parsley, a shallot. I'm also using a pound of Roma tomatoes combined with one nine ounce container of crushed tomatoes to make my sauce. You could use 20 ounces of your favorite pasta sauce. But anyways, to get started, I am going to slice thinly eggplant. I'm just going to cut the ends and just start slicing them into somewhere between a quarter of an inch to a half inch uh, slices. These are going to act as my pasta noodles. You could also do this recipe with thinly sliced zucchini. So whether you have an eggplant or zucchini, it works. So now I'm going to layer it in a baking sheet in a single layer and now I'm going to sprinkle on just a little bit of salt just to start drawing out the moisture from the eggplant. I'm going to do a second layer and repeat the same process. Basically you want to do this first because you're working with a lot of fresh ingredients and it will release its natural water into your lasagna. So you want to minimize the water that comes out in this dish. I will be leaving the ingredients and measurements in the description below this video. I'll also add some links to other recipes that you might like. Okay, so I am going to let my eggplant just hang out on the countertop just like this for maybe an hour. Um, it's probably going to take me an hour to prep everything anyways, so just you want to make sure you do the eggplant first. Now I'm just going to chop up that one shallot that I'm going to use. You could also use a little bit of red onion or yellow onion. I'm also going to roughly chop my Roma tomatoes and I will be blending these in the blender and straining out any seeds and skin and I will add this. Uh, along with my crushed tomatoes and this is what I'm going to use for the my the base of my sauce So here I ended up with 20 ounces of liquid You could use 20 ounces of your favorite pasta sauce I decided to go with fresh ingredients in the crushed tomato because it also helps me lower the sugar content uh, as opposed to buying a store-bought sauce. So I'm also going to be using eight ounces of cremini mushrooms. You could use the mushrooms of your choice. This is added protein to this dish. And two pounds of meat. This is lean meat. I'm using one pound of uh, chicken Italian sausage and one pound of ground turkey. Again, you could use lean ground beef, a mixture of pork and beef, use what you like. I'm going with poultry today. So here I have a pan preheating. I'm adding a couple tablespoons of olive oil and I am going to start browning my mushrooms. Okay, so my mushrooms have started sauteing and browning. They've cooked down. Now I'm going to add leftover eggplant. Basically, this came from the ends that I chopped off and a couple of the slices that I'm probably not going to use in the dish. You don't have to do that, that's optional. I just didn't want it to go to waste and it'll just add extra flavor and texture to my sauce. So what I've done here is cooked the eggplant and mushroom down. You want to basically rid of any extra moisture. Again, when you're using a lot of fresh ingredients, naturally vegetables have like 90% water content. So I just want to do my best to cook most of that out. Okay, so right now I'm just going to remove my cooked out mushrooms and eggplant. And now I'm going to add a little more olive oil and then start to cook my shallots and garlic.
Okay, so now I'm going to add my one pound of Italian chicken sausage. I've removed it from the casing and now I'm going to start to brown it. I will also be adding one pound of ground turkey. And again, you can add two pounds of lean meat of your choice. That can be a combination of beef, pork, whatever you want to use in your sauce. I just want to keep things on the lighter side today. So I'm going with lean poultry. Now I will be adding two teaspoons of an Italian herb blend. You can use the seasonings and spices of your choice. This is what I had. I'm also using salt and pepper to taste. I'm also going to be adding a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. You can use the ratio of your choice if you want more or you don't have to use it at all if you're not really into a little bit of spice, but I think it balances the flavors well. So now I'm just going to continue breaking the meat apart and sauteing and browning it. Okay, my meat is completely browned and cooked, so now I'm going to start adding my other ingredients. Here is the cooked mushroom and eggplant that I sauteed earlier. I'm going to combine that with the meat. Now I'm going to add my 20 ounces of crushed tomato pureed tomato mixture. Again, you could use 20 ounces of your favorite pasta sauce. And once I pour this in there, I'm going to start combining it. And you'll notice I have a lot of fond to scrape up from the bottom of the pan, even the side. This sauce will do the trick. So I'm just going to continue cooking out my tomato puree and crushed tomatoes and scraping up any fond that's in the pan. This will just add flavor to my meat sauce. Okay, so once that has cooked out, I've combined it well, I am now going to cover it with a lid. I will cover it and simmer on low for 20 minutes. I basically want to cook out some of the moisture from the tomato sauce and just make sure everything cooks and combines well. Once the 20 minutes is up, I'm going to remove it from the heat and just set it aside until I need to start putting together my lasagna. Okay, here I'm going to prepare my ricotta cheese. I'm using a part skim ricotta cheese. This is 16 ounces. And I'm going to place it right into this bowl. And I probably could have gotten uh, rid of that extra moisture that was in the cheese because again, the name of the game is to try to lower the water content that's going to release from all the fresh ingredients. Now I'm going to crack one large egg right into my ricotta cheese. Next I'm going to add pepper to taste. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of fresh Italian parsley. Actually this is close to a tablespoon and a half, but I had some parsley that needed to be used so I want to add it right into this cheese mixture. And now I'm going to combine everything well. Okay, so this is combined well. I'm going to set it aside and show you the rest of the ingredients. I had one four ounce frozen wedge of Parmesan cheese. I grated it and that is what I will be using. I'm also going to be using an eight ounce block of low moisture mozzarella cheese. Basically it's the block mozzarella cheese and it's low moisture because the fresh one does come really moist and soft. Okay, so it has been basically an hour. My eggplant definitely has released a lot of moisture. So as you can see, it has completely saturated the paper towels underneath it. I'm just going to take more dry paper towels. You could use kitchen towels or tea cloth and pat dry any moisture that released. And this basically, again, will help uh, lower the water content that will release when you bake this lasagna. 
And if you are not fond of the taste of eggplant, you can definitely sub this with thinly sliced zucchini. And now my eggplant is pliable, it basically will act as a pasta noodle. So here is my workstation. I have a nine by 13 baking dish, my eggplant. I also have my meat sauce here on the side. I have my ricotta cheese mixture. And again, I have the two cheeses that I will be using other than the ricotta cheese, and that's Parmesan cheese and low moisture mozzarella cheese. So now I am going to assemble my pasta free lasagna and I will speed things up a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and I have been preheating my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I will be baking this covered for 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm also going to remove the aluminum foil and continue to bake it uncovered for another 15 to 20 minutes or until everything is golden brown on top. Okay, so my lasagna is done. As you can see, it is bubbling away. It smells fantastic. So I am going to allow this to set for at least 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. You want to make sure that when you cut into the, the lasagna, it doesn't slide everywhere. But if you don't mind that, it'll still taste good. So I'm going in for a bite, you guys. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.